What's going on guys? Welcome to a random sketchy parking lot where we are going to be doing a raw torture test on the new 800 Lumen Boulder S. Now like we always do, let's go ahead and start this torture test by breaking this out of the ice and going from there. Here we go guys. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> yes this is awesome let me get some of this ice out of here wow look at that guys very very cool that worked really really well i'm impressed by that and it still works just fine. Hey guys, before we continue this torture test, I do want to thank you for watching this video. We're gonna go ahead and give away a Balder S in this video. So the way that you're going to enter to win is simply subscribe to this channel, like this video, and put one comment in the comment section on what we should do on this YouTube channel to celebrate the fact that we are almost to 90,000 subscribers on this channel. That can include special giveaways, special videos. We could do a special type of live video. There's a ton of things that we can do to celebrate reaching 90K on this channel, but we want your feedback and what you think we should do. So again, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and put that one comment in the description below so that we know what you think we should do. So we know that now it's waterproof because we froze it in a solid chunk of ice for almost 24 hours, broke it out of the ice, still turned on. So we're good on that test. Now let's go ahead and do an impact rating test where I'm literally just gonna throw it into the air, have it slam down onto the pavement, and we'll see how it does. Yeah? Good. All right, guys, let's throw this one up, see if it survives. Here we go. All right, there's one. Turns on. Okay. All right, turns on. Let's go to the middle here. Turns on just fine. All right. Turns on well. So obviously this thing can take some trauma. Just to give you a heads up here too, the adapter is just fine. Let's lock it down. No movement there. So yeah, just a few scratches there on the body here on the head. But so far this thing can definitely take some trauma it's got a nice little impact rating on there and also of course it passes the water and the ice test as well the ice test was crispy the drop test even more crispy let's see if we can crisp up this hammer test as well this might be brutal on this little guy but i don't know let's give it a try here we go Woo. Yeah. There goes the adapter. All right. <laughs> First off, let's see if we can get the adapter back on this thing. So, oh, come on. Hold on, let me see if I can go from the back side here. It looks like we did bend it up a little bit. Ooh, come on. We might not be able to, guys. I think I really chewed it up. Ah, I don't think so, but let's go ahead and see if we can turn it on. Oh, and it does turn on, fantastic. All right, so the light turns on. It, it just looks like, yeah, you can even see it. I definitely totally bent up the little rail section right here. So it's not gonna feed on, guys. I mean, you could really force it if you wanted to. Like, I could probably hit this thing on. Let me see if I can hit this on real quick. And let me get some better hits on it. Let's see what I can do. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Look, it's on there, guys. Look, I can still expand this. I mean, I could hit it on a little bit further, but it's on there. Yep, we're good to go. Turn it on. 
All right, so yeah, we're good to go. You just kind of hit the little adapter back on and you can put it back on your firearm. Ready to rock and roll. We got the little ball dress right here tied to the back of this thing. We're gonna drag it around the street. Thank you. We're gonna drag it around the street and uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. My people. My people. All right, let's do this. Wait, is it clean as a whistle or wet, wet, wet your whistle? What? How do you? Does anybody know? Does anybody know what that even means? Like... Anyways, all right, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at this thing, all right? Oh, yeah, there we go. Turn it on. Ah, it's being a little weird. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's being a little bit weird, guys. I think we might have come close to the end for the Boulder S. <laughs> you did a great job. But maybe it could have been a little better. <laughs> Anyways, guys, unfortunately, it did not completely pass the scooter test, but it did really well with the water test and the impact test rating. So even though it didn't pass all of our tests, I am really glad at how well it did. Obviously something small like this with this, this many moving parts, it's not going to do as well as things like the Odin series, which is way bigger, more overbuilt, but it still is great to see how well it did. It even passed the hammer test, guys, which is absolutely ridiculous and way more trauma than you would do to this light just simply using it on a firearm. So if you want to check out the Balder S, we do have a link to our website, olightstore.com, in the description of this video. It is really awesome, guys. You got that 800 lumen high mode, the 100 lumen low mode. It also has that integrated green laser to increase your accuracy, which you can zero to your select firearm. It's got the adjustable rail, so you can use it on compacts and even subcompacts that have a rail. I mean, this thing really has it all, and again, I'm really impressed with how heavy duty this thing is given its tiny size and the intricacy and in all of the moving parts of this light. Don't forget to enter the giveaway also for a Balder S in this video. Again, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, put one comment in the comment section on what we should do for our 90K subscribers celebration. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you later, peace.